That's why I said I don't want. I would rather us go this whole first season no changes and figure out what's going on, and then at the start of the second season we get a big patch. We know okay this is this is changed because this is we we, we have a bigger sample size to say yeah this probably really needs to be changed. I feel like a lot of gamers in general like if something's not going their way at the start of the game then a lot of us like to ask questions. A lot of us like oh man maybe this should be fixed. But I mean the game literally just came out. So there's been a lot of conversation about the shooting in NBA 2K25 and some people are already asking for patches. But let's kind of like take a step back and asking why we want patches for the game. So in this video, we're going to look at all the things the 2K community either wants patched, changed, or tweaked. To start this segment off, let's instantly talk about the shooting. Rhythm shooting is a new mechanic in NBA 2K that allows you to hold your right stick down and flick it up at the right time to green your shot. With this mechanic being in the game, it actually takes away Zen and other forms of cheating in NBA 2K25. But what comes with this new shooting system is random number generated or RNG green windows, which means your green window timing changes at your green shots with the original shoot button. With that being said, 2K players are basically saying like, why is my green window changing in different moments of my jump shot? And I feel like if I time my jump shot right every time, it should be green. But like I said at the start, let's take a step back. So let's say 2K does release a patch where if you green your jump shot is green like last year. That could mean the return of Zins. And with the return of Zins, that means over 70% three-point percentages. And with over 70% three-point percentages, that means people are going to start shooting fades, start shooting deep threes, and going seven, seven, seven for seven in the game with Zins, not missing a shot, and that's unfair. But fear not, there is a mechanic in the game that actually helps you green almost every shot, which is called rhythm shooting. <laughs> But with there being an actual mechanic in the game that actually helps you shoot perfectly, people are still upset about this. Literally just seen a post on Twitter, somebody practicing half court shots. That's actually insane. That they basically have to use the whole unorthodox mechanic just to actually shoot perfectly from the line. Doesn't this combat sense? I think we should keep the shooting the same. Let me explain. With 2K Interactive adding a new mechanic, which is called rhythm shooting, I don't think there can actually be a device that can actually emulate human flick emotion with the right stick going up and down. Hence, hence why I think the shooting should stay the same and there really shouldn't be no changes. I mean, think about it. Imagine if they revert the shooting and then Zens will come back and then people will be complaining saying, Zens are back, revert the shooting patch. People were complaining, revert the shooting patch. You can't make nobody happy in the 2K community. Some people have been running the same lineup for literal, for literally over five years. The first time I ever seen a guard lock in a center or a, or a popper lineup, was back in 2K20, the near end of 2K20, and people have been running that same lineup for a little over, almost, almost five years now. And I say that because it's time to adapt. Clearly NBA 2K is going in a more realistic direction. So I think we should accept it. Some of us have been running the same lineup, putting the same attribute levels on our builds for literal years. And 2K is just trying something different. And I would say it's working. Then we couldn't shoot over small defenders. Now we can. Back then we could throw bullet passes down the court with a 70 pass accuracy. 2K is changing and I think it's beautiful. But let's get into the next segment defense. A lot of people are complaining that the defense this year is actually kind of like bogus, which I can agree that some things in the game are a little crazy, like the lane steals. Let's also take a step back looking at this. A lot of people are saying that the paint defense is non-existent, but those are the same people who does not have interior defense upgrade. You guys want some attributes to math this year? Here you go. Imagine if you're, say for example, six foot five, but you have like a 50 interior defense, like a six, three guard with like at least like an 80 driving layup is about to take a layup on you. If you put in your hands up, and you're trying to get a good contest, he may lay up the ball on you because he has a higher driving layup than your interior defense. Now, I don't know what the scaling to that is, but it kind of makes sense. Now, one thing I've always said, I do think that people should be punished for taking bad or dumb layup attempts. There is a center I played against. I don't think I have the gameplay though, but anytime he put up the ball, he just walked in the paint and press square and whatever animation he got, he got. Now I understand you're a seven footer and I'm way smaller so I can understand how you would be more confident with putting up the ball. But if sometimes are people getting crazy unorthodox layup animations or some weird post animations, I don't understand why the game will reward dumb shot selection basically. And the same thing goes for perimeter defense. People are wondering why, hey, why am I guarding this person and I'm somewhat there and he's shooting over me and saying open. If you have a 70 and under, possibly 
possibly 75 and under perimeter defense, you are not going to get that much of a contest on the perimeter. Now, let's say you're in your opponent's face putting your hand up. That's the times that you actually get a contest because you're actually there in their face. But the times where your hands are down kind of far away from your opponent, it's not like other 2Ks where the game will give you a contest regardless of if you're somewhat there. As long as you're somewhat there, the game will at least give you at least a 10 to 20% contest. It's not like those other 2Ks. You guys want the attributes to matter, now it matters. Now, in my experience, the higher the perimeter defense, the better the contest. So I have a build with 85 perimeter defense in the background gameplay and nine times out of 10, if I wasn't really there, I would probably get like an open or lightly contest, but I also have a build built with over a 90 perimeter defense and nine times out of 10, if I'm somewhat there, I'm getting a high contest like previous years. That's where attributes matter. Mention is the lane steals. Now, in the Twitter space that I mentioned earlier, I did comment about the lane steals. If your passing rate is 65 to 70 and you're trying to throw bullet down the down court bullet passes and you're surprised somebody is catching that ball, you must not watch the NBA. Now, it's hard to compare a video game straight to real life, but there are games called simulation video game. With that being said, with 2K going to a more simulation style game, if you have a low pass accuracy and you're trying to throw it down the court, an NBA player, a player in the NBA is catching that pass regardless of who they are. Me being an advocate of more simulation play, I think 2K25 is one of the better 2Ks they have released in years. Um, And it's the most fun I've had on 2K in a minute because it feels like Everything is just so, every, everything matters. Every attribute matters. There is some inconsistencies, but it feels like a lot of the attributes actually matter in this game. And I feel like everybody should just learn to adapt and kind of get used to 2K taking more of this turn. I feel like people should kind of stop complaining and just kind of play the game out. Maybe get used to the rhythm shooting mechanic and understand that if you don't have certain attributes, you can't do certain things like how you did in previous years. 70 to 75 pass I could see on the guard was fine. Now it isn't. Back then, 55 to 65 interior defense was good enough to get a contest. Now it has to be a little high. Rebounding, you have to have at least a 75 and up to actually get efficient rebound. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video and tell me what y'all think down in the comments. Do y'all think we should kind of take a step back and let, let 2K cook with this game or do you think some things need to be fixed?